Hello again, my name's Barry Bassner. I do photogrammetry, image reality capture. Photography I use can be used for lots of different things, but I'm going to show you how we use it for structural inspection. Um, this is, uh, we're going to be talking about a very old favourite bridge of mine, Lee Milton, which is the oldest surviving railway viaduct in the world. And what we have in here is just a way of looking at lots of different sites, lots of different sites, assets, wherever they may be. And we're just going to focus on this one, Lay Milton. I'm going to show you a slightly different way of doing inspection and structural reporting. Um, what we're going to use here is a gigapixel image, and we'll talk a bit more about that. But one of the issues that we have is most of the photographs we use in structural inspection are photographs of very similar bricks, masonry, steelwork, which is very difficult to organize. So what I do is combine them all into one single image. Now this is a 1.1 gigapixel image, but you're viewing it on a website. So you don't have to download anything. <clears throat> most of the surveying is, or most of the uh, structures will require different people to input different things. And this provides a single data environment where lots of different people can look at things. And what I'm doing here is just identifying something or another person can identify an area which requires some other you require to link information to it or add extra reports. On this one, we can link, this is configurable, but we can link documents, video files, so CCTVs from drones or, or um, CCTV, <clears throat> and just apply it as a sticky note. We can color code these depending on what the discipline is and what we need to do. In this case, I'm just gonna call it, uh, what am I gonna call it? Vegetation, makes sense, and it's green. And then we can add a tag name in there so we can find it all later on. Because the point of this is it's searchable right across all your assets, not just embedded in a PDF. <clears throat> this tablet you see, this pop-up is configurable to whatever system you want. You could call whatever documents, it could be work orders, it could be software, but we can also link particularly important to, you notice we clicked there to a SharePoint link. So this will integrate to your SharePoint instance which helps your IT people a lot and helps in findability. But let's talk about this image in a bit more detail. <clears throat> what I've done here is I've stitched together around about 20 images, all taken from probably about 80 meters away, I'd guess. <clears throat> we can zoom in and then use it, manipulate the image, and you can see we can drag it around. And I can drag it around with my mouse, I can drag it around with uh, the little navigation bars, but then I can actually add tags to it, as you can see. Um, this is all available as well on your tablet because it's a website. You can take your tablet out, your phone, although I have to admit, if you use your phone, it gets a little, you know, it's a little pernickety and difficult with big fat thumbs like I've got. <clears throat> but if you've got an iPad or you've got a tablet, then you can use all this and tag things as you go along. So we can add all this information and all these data bits here, it's really important to re realize that these are all searchable because one of the issues that you've got with the conventional way of doing structural reports is each structure has its own PDF. You have to read the PDF to actually understand what's going on. What we can do is search right across all the assets. So in this case, we've created a work order and we can delete it, update it, modify it, close it out if it's been done. But it allows us to share the bridge, not just with our structural engineers or do an elevation drawing or embed it into a big word document, but an interactive way of doing of relate information. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that we've got here is the we've done this as a 32 bit image. So you can see all the details which would normally be hidden in the sh shadows. But the other thing to mention as well is we can do this It's obviously it's a daylight, but we can do exactly the same thing. Uh, at night with no task lighting works really well. If I want to share information really quickly, I can just take a snapshot of an area I zoomed in, save that and embed that in a Word document or an email or whatever I might want to do with it. It helps there to embed a single image. If you're having to do a Word based report into a PDF, you can do all that. So that's Lane Milton. Let's take you to other structures and show you what we can do with those as well. Um, uh, oh, just before I finish, uh, I need to show you that we can actually um, embed a link to this as well. So we can copy a link to this camera position and then give anybody we want permission to look around that. Okay, 
go to full screen mode, lots of little tricks and wrinkles that help the display. But I think you see the principle is what it has is an interactive portal to lots more information about that asset. You can link that to all sorts of different things. But let's go to another site and look at some other structures. This is a site that we've done down uh, at Houston HS2, where they're looking at an investigation of lots of different structures in and around Houston. Uh, so we'll click on that. And what we're using here is what we call Smart 360 imagery. Smart 360s is like normal 360 imagery you see on Google Street View, but with an all extra fat and usability. We can zoom down into a particular area. So we're zooming down into a 360, and this is actually a just about a gigapixel image it's 16 images all stitched together which allows you to look at thing in f amazing detail far more detail than you never get from a point cloud or from a, a point clouds pano image as you can see we're zooming in that's about 25 meters away we get the same functionality as uh, on the 360 as we do on the pano if we get lost we've got a clip down um, model a map so we can see where we are and we can zoom in again and then get all the tools you see in the bottom right to cut paste take a snapshot but we can also add information to so if again if we want to send information tell somebody to give them some specific instructions then we can highlight these uh, get them to add more information to it when they're on site add more info photographs more documents more notes so we can actually build data capture live on site without having to go back i actually use a digital a dictation thing for doing things which is time stamped but in this case we can also add certain things so links to project wise um, so you can embed all this information directly into project wise without having to go through any really big setups zooming out zooming in we can walk around and do lots of other stuff as well in this case they want to inspect both the overhead line the ole and they want to expect that big wall on the right hand side but if you wanted to use it for ole exp um, uh, uh, investigation assessment you can do and the thing to remember again about this is there was no task lighting involved in this at all um so we can zoom in can have the whole of your assets wherever they may be on the planet actually located and then we've got searching views so in this case we want to look at the work orders for vegetation clearance that we've got add those change and the blue tab there will allow me to click and look at it visually and say where is it what's near it what scaffolding do we need what height is it how do we plan that we're going to do it so in terms of uh familiarization in terms of planning what you've got is one tool that's web-based that you can see anywhere from any time providing you give people the right permission i think you'll agree the definition the detail we get to it's astonishing um, and again just to say no task lighting just to show you is a quick demonstration of it being used on a tablet so you can see that it does work all I'm doing here is showing you the bridge um, and I could walk around the bridge, tap on areas and then add information as I wish to. Um, so it's a dynamic on-site capture system as well as being a collaborative tool for all sorts of inspections. I hope that helps, but this is what um, photography, 360 smart imagery and what we call Gigapano inspection images can do for you. If you need any information, please feel free to drop me a line. You can get me through LinkedIn, probably drag me down. Can you find me through lots of places, but um, just, just a bit of information help you figure out how you might be able to save a lot of time in structural inspections. It's not going to stop you having people hit things with hammers. It's not going to stop people having to go over with, with uh, rope access or scaffolding, but it might speed up an awful lot of jobs for you and wherever they are.